There it goes. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, that's what we needed right there. Bird came out, he was on it, he saw it go down. That's gonna be the ticket, that's what we needed. Good boy, good boy. Yeah, nice job. Hi, Ethan here with Standing Stone Kennels and we are back with another video here with Sprig. Um, he is eight months old. We have worked on flushing birds out in the field. We saw that, if you watched his last video, you saw he struggled a little bit with marking. We've done some marking drills. We showed how that looked. We've kind of incorporated some of those things in and now we're ready to go back to the field and see how that's paid off. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn him loose, get him out hunting. We've got a few birds already set out there. So come along here and we'll see how he does and then um, kind of evaluate from there what we need to be working on next. All right, Sprague, let's go, buddy. Okay. Good boy. Now I've got us a good long walk to start off with here. This is gonna help him to, you know, kind of be able to use his nose, start feeling more comfortable hunting. Uh, if he gets too sticky with us, which he currently is not, uh, we will be able to kind of help hunt the cover by using our bodies to move back and forth. And you can see how this is gonna encourage him to start quartering the field a little bit more as well. He's a very cooperative pup. Good job. Anytime you're working with your bird dog, it's important to be paying attention to the wind. Uh, we checked here, we've kind of got a wind. It's shifting around a little bit between a southeast and a northeast and a straight east switch. Right now I'm feeling it right through here as we're moving down the field. So we're gonna have the wind right in his face as we work up toward this bird, which is you know, kind of, oh, maybe 40, 50 yards ahead of us here. You can see that tail working, that nose working. He's definitely out here looking for birds. I'm gonna get loaded up here, because I know we're getting closer. More like I would be hunting with a flushing dog. Good job, buddy. You can see he's checking some objectives, went, made a loop around the downwind side of this thicker grass here. Um, same kind of things here. He's working along the edges of this cover. Good job. And this bird should be down ahead of us here and we should have a good wind for him to, to be able to pick up on that. We've got to watch our dog and learn to read his cues on when he's getting birdie. See him there? He's got a little hesitation here. <laughs> Maybe even a full point. Okay, buddy. Who to thunk, Sprig? You're a pointing lab. Where's it at? Where's it at? Fetch it up. This is a confidence thing. There you go. He didn't see it come out. This is one of the things that we were struggling with a little bit before, but I've got that bird dead over here, so we're gonna help him hunt dead. Now, he's picking up on these feathers on this trail from, you know, that wind's, like I said, it's kind of switching back and forth here, and now I'm feeling wind more this direction, and that's kind of pulling him right toward that bird, which is ideal. We're gonna let him hunt dead here. There he's working out. Use that nose, big boy. If we need to help him, we will. Kinda got sucked off of it here. Come up here and start talking to him a little bit. This is, uh, in a situation like this, this is where you typically be um, using a dead bird cue or look or hunt. Um, some people get hung up on talking too much, in my opinion. Now, if you look at him right now, what is he doing? 
He's using his nose, he's looking for that bird, and he found it. That didn't require me, a boy, come on, Sprig. That didn't require me to be standing over top of him here. Good. Um, I didn't have to stand over top of him and say, dad, 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 hunt dad, hunt dad, hunt dad. He was looking for the bird. We brought him in that area. We kind of helped to move that direction and we're encouraging, you know, like good boy, dead bird in here, but you don't need to hammer it into the ground. The more you talk, folks, the less your dog is going to listen. They start to tune it out. Um, so definitely, if you've got a dead bird situation like that, he wasn't right on top of it. Uh, we kind of helped him a little bit to find it. It's gonna be key. You can use a, a look or a dead bird or a find it, but don't overdo it. Don't be a chatterbox out there. All right, buddy, let's go find another one. We've got another bird up ahead of us here. It's about 70, 80 yards, maybe 100. Um, and again, we're gonna work him. We're gonna have to play that wind. Where's it at right now? It keeps switching back and forth. Um, I think we're gonna, we've got a beautiful day today and I think that we're gonna end up cooling off a little bit. So it's kind of switching to the north ultimately. But you can see he's opening up a little bit more here. We still want him to be in gun range. Because um, as he builds confidence with flushing, it's not going to, quote unquote, point the birds like he did that first one. There you go. You can see he's working down to this cover. This is a, this is a pup that's kind of learning how this works. The birds hide in the cover. They're not out here in this bear, bear areas. Good job, good job. Now we've got some more up here. We'll kind of walk him up this direction. Boy. All right, he should be working close to where he's going to be able to pick up. He's going to be able to pick up the scent stream on this next bird. Kind of out ahead of us here a little bit. Now sometimes these birds run. That first one was right where we put it. What you got, buddy? Getting birdie here. You see him start to work that over. When you start seeing your dog get birdie like that, that means you need to be ready to shoot, folks. Where's that? There it is, you see him turn on that hard? Good job. Okay, buddy, fetch it up. <laughs> okay, okay, there it is. No, I missed, I missed. I tried to get a quick shot in where it was right out in front of him and it didn't happen. Let's go ahead and hunt up this way. We need to be able to get that bird to come out where he can see it, and I think that's just gonna take a few more birds. We'll call him back up this way. There's no bird that way, buddy. I'm running vibrate on his collar right now, and he's ignoring that a little bit because he's going to look for that bird. I'm gonna use a little bit of stem. Come on. Hey, 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 let's go. Sprig, good, good job. We're gonna take him back up around. We've got one more bird up over here and we've got one in the kitty. Our uh, videographer, Cat the Dog Trainer, he's got one just in case this session needs it. It's always important to be prepared rather than to get out here and go, man, if we had one more bird or, or whatever else. So in your training sessions, try and be proactive about what's going on. We've got an extra bird with us if we need it. All right, we're gonna swing up here and then we're gonna have to kind of bring him around to the bird. Again, doing a nice job hunting up this ditch. Hey, 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 I think he saw that car down there. That's what it looks like. Get him turned around. Sprig! Atta boy. 
I had to use stimulation. I nicked him on the collar, then I went back to vibrate. Then when he started coming around and he was back in range, <clears throat> the collar shut off, and he's back up here hunting with us again. Good boy. Good boy. Should find one up here in this this area somewhere. Come on. Where's the birds at, buddy? Get birdie again here. Not looking as serious though. You can see a little less intensity in that. Something to smell, something to check out, but not, not 100%. And there's feathers here, probably from a previous training session, right here. So, what do you got? Oh, I think you got her now. Yeah, this is way more intense. You see this, guys? There goes that bird. It popped out the cover here. We're gonna let him figure this out. Where'd it go? There it is. All right, where'd it go, buddy? There he's on it. Maybe. So where we can talk to him just a little bit. All right, buddy, dead bird. But we don't need to hammer it into the ground. Just gotta work him on the downwind side of where we know that bird went down at. Come on. See him turn here, he's getting the nose full. There it is, good job. Good job. Good. Yeah, we hit that one pretty hard, didn't I? All right, I wanna put one more bird out for him. Cause he's still, when that bird comes out of the grass, he's not quite seeing it take off. I'm gonna steal this bird out of your bag. <laughs> Stop moving. All right. You want to watch here. All right, let's go. I don't want him to see me put this down, but I'm gonna put it in pretty light cover so that it should be no obstructions to his view when he comes back around to it. All right, so we've got our gun ready. We've got the bird right up in here. You wouldn't want to do a ton of sessions like this, but we ultimately, we need something for to try and help bridge this gap with him. Where'd it go, bud? Come on. All right, put him up. Our wind's now coming more out of this way, so we're gonna have to get him down here. There it is again. You see his demeanor change. He's using his nose. He's, you know, he's, he knows he's on a bird. Try and make sure that it didn't get between me and the camera. I dizzied it a little bit. Is he gonna catch it? Gonna catch it? Dizzied a little too much, maybe. There it goes. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, that's what we needed right there. Bird came out, he was on it, he saw it go down. That's gonna be the ticket. That's what we needed. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Nice job. Finish this up. I know you're getting a little bit warm. Good. Hold. Okay, good. Nice job. All right, everybody. Um, that's what we're gonna call this session for him. I wanna say thanks for watching, but ultimately, if you got to watch this progression, he went out, he hunted, 
he flushed those birds that he wasn't still seeing exactly what's happening. He's kind of gets stuck where the scent was, not watching that bird came out. In that last situation there, you got to see that bird flew in the right direction. It gave us the perfect timing and I knocked it down while he was actively still looking at it and he was able to mark and go out and work to that bird. Um, a lot of situations in dog training happen almost like a light switch. It'll be like, I don't think we're getting this, we're not getting this, and then boom, the right situation happens, and that was it for us. So I think at this point, um, we're gonna do maybe one more session with him, and then this guy needs to just go hunt. Uh, we've got some opportunities, maybe kill some pheasants this fall with him, but uh, as far as field flushing lab, he is prepped and ready for earning some experience. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to uh, follow us on Instagram there, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the red bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.